There's a bit of a motto you live by when working on vaccines. It not only has to be effective, it has to be safe. CSU's Raymond Goodrich knows in labs like his around the world, that will take time. You're at least a year to a year and a half away from where a candidate may be available. Not that he's taking this job casually. This is a race and he knows it. So I think that's actually a very aggressive timeline, but it also reflects the fact that we're in uh, a very unique situation with the outbreak of this disease around the world. So that is the process right there. It's, it's why today Senator Michael Bennett came to the lab to see how this will work. In another room, they're growing the virus in a way that will provide researchers the information they will need to fight it. This isn't one of those cases where, and there are many cases where it's true, where it's a bunch of red tape that's not letting people do the work they need to do. It takes time. And then Senator Bennett said something about COVID-19 that took almost no time to say. We have to take it very seriously, but we don't, we shouldn't panic. Should all go well, labs like the one at CSU, if not this very one, will have a vaccine ready for human trials by the end of the year with mass production ready for 2021. Not fast, but then again, that's how these things work. Chris Vanderveen, 9 News. CSU has a history of working on these kinds of things, having done vaccine work on both Zika and Ebola in the past.